Hi, Kurt Wanabo, San Diego Real Estate and Investments and short sale in San Diego.com. Now, one of the things that uh, questions I get quite frequently is, how much does a short sale cost and what types of things do I have to pay for? Well, first, it's important to understand that my services and fees are completely free to you and typically you do not pay anything out of pocket in order for a short sale to occur. Now, drilling down on that a little bit further, people have asked, well, I want to do a short sale and pay absolutely no money whatsoever. And I have to explain to people that everybody's case and circumstance is a little bit different. And there are, at times, certain things that you may need to pay for in order for a short sale to occur. So I'd like to list some of those things for you so you have a full understanding before you go into a short sale transaction of what those things may be. The first thing is if you have a homeowners association. One of the things I always recommend to my clients is that they do stay current on those fees because many times through the short sale process, a bank will not pay for past due fees. So some people could look at that as a cost of doing a short sale. While they're going through the process, they would have to stay current and continuously make those HOA payments until the property is sold. A second thing that, uh, another thing that sellers do have to be considerate of is the fact that they are required to provide certain things within the property in order for it to be sold. Things like smoke detectors, water heater bracing, and the new one, which is carbon monoxide detectors. Now, if you already have these items, then great, there isn't a problem. But if you don't, these are things that could be little expenses along the way that you'd have to go out and buy and put in the property, okay? Another item sellers may have to pay for is if for any reason their utilities are turned off, we may need to have you turn the utilities on in order for the buyer to be able to do their appraisal and their inspection and allow for the sale to occur. Or simply keep on the utilities if you're not living in the property throughout the process, which could be looked at as an expense throughout the whole uh, process. But if you're not living there, obviously the fees aren't going to be that tremendous. But it is something that does need to occur in a short sale and may be an additional cost. Every now and then, but it's very rare with my clients, there may be cer certain circumstances where a, a seller may have to come to the table with, a short, uh, with money to appease a short sale lender, and this is more prominent when you do have two loans on the property, and one of them is a loan that you pulled money out of the property through the process of owning it. But these are very rare, they're very sp case specific, and that's something that we can talk about when we assess your situation. Again, it's important to understand that you're not gonna pay for any real estate commissions through the short sale, Typically, you're not going to be paying any normal costs associated with the sale of a property, such as title and escrow and closing costs, et cetera. But I did want to address those uh, little things that may come up through the process that you want to be aware of, of things that you might, want to, that you might have to pay for. I'm Kurt Wanabo, San Diego Real Estate and Investments. Thank you very much for watching.